Are you good with British accents? Because surprise, I am not. Hi everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living here in the beautiful United Kingdom for the last six years. And I am not good at guessing British accents, which is exactly what we're gonna do today. So I found this quiz online that has like a little video of a British person speaking and then we have four multiple choice answers. And we're gonna see how poorly I can do. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos of what it's like for a foreigner living in the UK, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's go. Okay, our first clip is Dame Maggie Smith. Now, I'll be completely honest. Never really thought about her specific type of accent before, so let's watch. Funnily enough, I was, I was in Waitrose in Storrington, my favorite. <laughs> and a little boy was at the um, checkout with his mother and he kept looking at me. And I thought, what am I gonna do about it? And he went, kept looking at me and looking at me. And I said, can I help you? And he said, it's all right, it'll come to me in a minute. <laughs> I, I thought it was so sweet. <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> it'll come to me. This is so embarrassing. Okay, so I'm not gonna, we're not saying she's not a scouser. I don't think that's how you pronounce that. I don't think she's from Liverpool. Where is she actually from? That is such a good question. Um, I don't think she, I think that is the proper RP. Am I gonna regret saying that? Well, let's just, let's go, let's go for it. <gasps> Thank God. Next up, we have a video of Cheryl Cole from 2014. Now, here's the thing, I know the name. I can't tell you why she's famous. Wasn't she like a singer or something? I'm not sure. Uh, but here we go. Took two hours here and there, um, and we learned sections, and then you just run it and run it, but it was intense, more so for the dancers because they were going, 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 and I kept saying they need a break, they need a break. They, I could say it on their face, you know, and at one point... I could say it on their face, you know? That was... I'm real sorry. One of the girls was physically sick. No. Yeah, so we, 20 hours of, like, going, you know, you, you get to a point where your body's just like... You need you know. to just stop. That's hard. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I kind of feel like this is a Geordie. And I'm not totally sure why I think that. It's certainly not RP and it's certainly not Cockney. For me, I live in the southeast of England. So I am down here in Kent. I have lived in Kent for the entire time I've been in the UK. So that kind of voice is familiar to me. Um, Cockney, no. RP, no. So it's either Liverpool or Newcastle, but for some reason I want to say Newcastle. And I don't really know why, but I'm just going to go with my gut um, and hopefully we're not being, uh, I'm not going to be embarrassed. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so much better than I thought I would. However, if we didn't have multiple choice, that would be a different story. Now, even though I have been in the UK for six years, a lot of people say, why don't I have a British accent? I don't think I'm ever going to have a quote unquote British accent. Of course, that's very vague. There's no such thing as just a British accent, but my voice has actually changed. If you have been on my channel for a while, maybe you don't notice it, but if you were to go back and watch like one of my old videos from like 2017, my voice is different. And of course I have aged since then so there is that element you know maybe a bit more mature than i once was but my voice certainly has changed do i have a quote-unquote british accent no but my inflection is different my voice is different my word choice is also different i just haven't started speaking you know i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do another impression because i'm embarrassed as it is but I don't have a British accent yet. Maybe, I don't know, 20 years in? Is that possible? Maybe. Next up, we have Emile de Rav Ravin. 
<laughs> and Robert Carlyle. Here we go. It, 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 it steals magic, essentially. So anyone who has, who has his magic powers, it can, it sucks them into the hat and um, stores all this stuff. And this is like a massive supercomputer of magic, I guess. Massive supercomputer. Sorry, I want to say Scottish. Right? Scottish, perhaps? I should title this video, Canadian tries really cringy British accents. <laughs> All right, let's say Scottish. Thank God for multiple choice. Next up, we have Joanna Page. Here we go. Each other, and they're so fast and dynamic and sparky, and it's just, it's really, really funny as well. After reading the script and then hearing it all in the, in the read-through, it just all came to life and I just thought, wow, this is going to be fantastic. Filming, you know, the romantic scenes was quite difficult because my first... Huh? You guys, I am so confused. It's definitely not RP, but honestly, I think it could be any of the other ones. <laughs> Let me give it a little bit more. It was on top of a mountain in Neath. It was absolutely freezing. It was blowing a gale, and David, uh, the t you know, the tenth Doctor and I are having a picnic. And so I'm lying across him. He probably couldn't breathe because I've just got this massive costume on, and he's feeding me grapes as I'm like that, just desperately shivering. So I really don't know. Um, I kind of want to just say Welsh. It's gonna, this one's gonna be embarrassing, isn't it? I'm saying. It could be any of the other. Liverpool? Liverpool's my next one, but I think I'm gonna go Welsh. <gasps> you guys, I am shocked. Next up, we have An Anthony Murphy. I wonder where he's from. I, th I think it's a, it's a challenge that all customers are facing up to and um, that we work with across a range of industries. We do a lot. Across a range of industries? I want to say, I don't want to say my answer yet. I work in the BPO space and financial services um, and, and, and across a number of uh, horizontal industries as well. But everyone is facing that challenge of how do they engage better with their customer? How do they build new processes? And how do they truly use technology? Truly use technology? I want to say Scottish. I'm not 100% certain that I know what a Northern Irish specific accent sounds like. So I'm kind of like, ooh, is it that? But in my heart, I want to say that he's Scottish. We got to go with my gut. Oh my God, you guys, I am just, wow, wow. So those are five British accents. Did you guys guess them right? Probably, right? It was probably pretty easy. If, you, if you're a British person watching, I imagine that was pretty easy. One of the things I love about being in the UK is the sheer amount of accents. As a Canadian, that's really not part of Canadian life. Of course, different Canadians can kind of sound different, but not really. Only sort of the extremes with sort of like French speaking Canadians or Newfies have quite a distinct accent. But for the most part, a lot of Canadians, we all kind of sound the same and it's not that exciting. Whereas here in the UK, there is just so many. And that was only five. Do you guys want to see more British accent stuff? Let me know, we can certainly do this again. Just, just a five, just, you know, a sample British accent platter of five. But if you guys wanna see more, please leave a comment or just leave a comment anyway, cause that's really nice. Hey, don't go anywhere. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm actually trying to invite you to something. What's that you might ask? My birthday party, live, right now. I am live streaming right now on twitch.tv forward slash adventures and apps. We are having a huge live birthday party. It's BYOB and the audience decides how long I live stream for. So it could be a couple of hours, could be a couple of days. We don't know yet. But I would love it if you could come over and celebrate with me on Twitch. It's free, so you can just pop right over. I am live right now at this desk. <laughs> I am live literally right now. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Twitch.tv forward slash adventures and apps. 
you type that in or you can click the link or whatever you want to do come on over we're waiting for you it's gonna be a lot of fun I've got a lot of really silly fun chaotic stuff planned and I'd love it if you could come join us all right live birthday party right now I'm live right now I'm waiting for you come on over as always thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye